Okay, story time. You see this guy right here? Basically, I started talking to this guy on Instagram, and um, obviously, I know him from TikTok. Basically, we were talking for like a couple days, FaceTiming each other and everything. Um, he's so nice, he's so sweet to me, and he basically says he wants to come to Tampa to see me. So basically, he books a flight to Tampa, and his cousin drops him off at my house. And he's so sweet. We're like um, drinking and watching movies and stuff, and he's just so sweet to me. And not a red flag in sight, okay? So basically, he's at my house. We're watching movies. We order food, um, just drinking and stuff. And then it's like 2 in the morning, so we decide to go to sleep. So we're both laying down in um, the bed. I fall asleep, and that's it. Lights out for me. I'm sleeping. And then I wake up at 8 a.m., realize he's not laying next to me i come out to my living room he's not there i check the door he left my house with my door lock unlocked so i text his phone and i'm like um hey you left and i'm blocked i go on instagram i'm blocked on everything blocked on twitter he, everything so basically i'm like okay let me go check my stuff because this is really weird and basically he robbed me of my rolex and something else, I don't know what it was that he took, but I have the video here so you guys can see. And you can see him right here. That's my purse. He's going through. And he's going through my purse. And then he finds my Rolex. And he basically steals my watch and puts it on his wrist. This is the pictures that I took of him at my house right before he robbed me. So if you see this guy, if you see him with a Rolex on, a bust down Rolex with all diamonds, he stole it from me. Do not trust this guy, okay? Do not let him in your house. Do not let him near you. He is going to rob you. And this is his Instagram. And this is another video of him stuffing something in my house under his shirt and putting it in his bag if you have any information let me know she got dug out on the first date by drake's long lost son and she got robbed afterwards the real question is why is she telling tiktok and not showing her camera footage to the police honestly does this guy look like he's a sweet guy? He's got tattoos all over his face and looks like he's selling crack. Wilfredo went from selling crack to smoking crack. All right, you guys asked for it. You want to know how much I make in a day as a topless maid. Today I cleaned five houses and I charged $300 an hour. And I also have a security guy that sits in the car outside and waits for me just in case anything happens. And he gets 35% of what I make. So, first house, $300 for the hour, and they gave me a $150 tip. I just want to say it's not required to tip, but majority of the houses that I clean, they do tip. Second house, $300 for the hour, and they gave me a $120 tip. Third house, $300 for the hour, and they gave me a nice $150. Fourth house, $300 for the hour, and they tipped me $110. And the final house, $300 for the hour, and they gave me a very generous tip of $200. Very nice. It was a big house too, kind of dirty. The take home pay was $2,230. And of course, like I said, my security guy gets 35%, which is $780. We're gonna go ahead and just round it up because he's amazing. So he will be getting $800. So now my take home is $1,430. And I worked five hours. If you think you needed a sign, this is your sign. Topless made cleaning service for the win. Forget about this 304 and her trash job. This guy makes 35% of everything she makes for doing absolutely nothing. He just sits in the car listening to music and playing video games through his phone. How do I apply for this job? Sign me up. 
So this may come as a shock to some people, but 70% of sex workers in the UK are actually mothers and they do it just to support their families and pay the bills. Now, for me, I was a healthcare professional, I had a qualification and my daughter ran into a lot of difficulties. So it meant that I had to quit my job so I could be at home. I had no support around me and I felt like it was the only option just to get us by. Now, luckily it ended up taking off and me and my daughter have benefited massively from this. It's not an ideal job, I completely get that. You know, it's not something that you want your children to know about. However, we are so, so happy at the moment. We've been able to do things that I could never imagine we'd be able to do and it works for us. So why would I give up something just because society says you shouldn't be doing that because you're a mother? Not only that, when you go on the hub or when you go on an adult page, before you watch that video that you like the look of, do you think, I'm gonna find out if this lady's a mother? Do you email the website to find out if she's a mother? No, you literally watch the video, enjoy it, do what you've gotta do and get on with your day. Just have a thought about that before you go sleeping mothers that do sex work. Wow, 70% of 304 workers are single mums. She said she felt like it was the only option, but there are always other ways to make money. She admits it's not the ideal job and wouldn't want her children to know about it. But then she tries to say she shouldn't give it up because society says so. She already admitted she doesn't think it's a good idea. It's got nothing to do with what society thinks. And why should people who watch it care? They just want to bust a nut. She's the one who should care, because she's the one who is doing it. People do anything for money! Hey guys, so um, I just got home from the club. In the Uber ride, I checked this guy's phone, and I saw that he's been talking to other people. So I'm taking my makeup off, and I would like to tell you guys that <laughs> Good as fuck. So, I don't give a fuck. His motherfucking lots. One and two. He's he's in the sofa sleeping. I fucking told him, Do you have anything to say for yourself? He said, No. <laughs> Anyways, um, the moral of the story is is that I never trusted him. Do you wanna know why? Because I'm not fucking stupid, bitch. And neither should you. You should not be stupid. My guard. Guys, I look too good to fucking give a fuck. I don't care what this man has done. I will replace him in the blink of... I replaced him. I could blink. And I replaced him. I'm drunk. And you know what? Tomorrow is gonna be a better day. Done. You're done. You're done. She looks good or she looks like she belongs to the streets and she wants a man to turn her into a wife someday. She belongs to the streets.